Kristen Wood. She Am is. I? She is a uh, superhero legend. Anything in court has to be reported. Uh, so if anybody makes a mistake, judges down in Jackson can review it and say, you know what, they they made a mistake uh, because somebody that's been accused of a crime and they're going to have to throw them in jail, uh, they have rights that need to be protected, and and there are rules that govern those protections. And a lot of times, the, the rules can be broken, you know, accidentally. And, and so you don't want somebody in jail when you had when, when the rules hadn't been followed specifically. So her job is to make sure that everything is recorded. At one time when he was first sheriff, the law required the sheriff and his family to live here. So this would be the front door to his house at one time. Kids had to move in, he had to live here, you know, 20, it was a 24, 24 7, you ever heard that expression? 24 7? If you're a sheriff, you can't, you know, clock out. You're, you're a sheriff at all times. This part would have been closed because there were jail cells over here, and the living area would be on this side. This was a kitchen. And so they cooked for everybody that, that uh, we got a breakfast, uh, breakfast uh, list. Anybody that spent the night in jail, when they wake up in the morning, they had to have breakfast. So, uh, you know, you had to cook for uh, not only the inmates, but the sheriff who lived here. People used to write shorthand on a tablet. That was a class in high school that you took shorthand. This is machine shorthand for court reporters. And also, on the TV, where you see closed captioning for the hearing impaired, that's a court reporter from her home. Is it hard to learn that thing? Mm. After you learn the theory, after you learn your shorthand theory, all that it takes is a lot of practice to build your speed up. Because to pass the test, you have to be qualified in Mississippi to do 225 words a minute Ooh. on the machine. After you learn your theory, you can see it come up. It's gonna come up by the court. That's the judge. You can write anything. You have short forms, but you can write anything because um, you do everything by sound. Then after you start in a job, you make your own job dictionaries with names, terms that I use every day that come up. And so then when we get through with a trial or a day, and if Mr. Creekmore needs a transcript, so he can look back on it later to get ready for something else. I take my card here, my SD card, put that in my computer, in my laptop, and it translates it just like it's doing here. And, and when I first started, Miss Taylor, who lived in Marshall County, Holly Springs. Holly Springs, she had a notebook and she wrote everything down by hand. So if you needed a transcript from her, she had stacks and stacks of notebooks, and she'd go back and find that court date, and she'd have to translate it. She would have to type hers up on a typewriter. And now the technology is, it's already there, but I go back and make sure every word is there. Also, Christy is responsible for whenever they have a, a court trial going on, say a murder trial going on, and and Ben's a prosecutor and he wants to submit stuff into evidence for court. She's the one that is responsible for taking that stuff into evidence, you know, through the court system. She types it on there, she labels it, you know, what exhibit it is, whether it be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however it is. If the defense has got anything that they want to present when they get up and do cross-examination, you know, they, she's the one that's responsible for labeling all that and, and keeping up with it. Where do you get to see it during court? Right by the judge. She's also the person that swears you in. Put, put Jeremy under of it. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this call to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth have you done? I do. 
And when you're under oath, you're sworn to tell the truth. And if not, Mr. Creekmore can prosecute you for perjury if it's proven that you lied on the witness stand. So if you lied about the whole, I'm pretty much in court, the whole thing. If I lied about it? If someone lies in okay. the mm -hmm. whole court, how long, like, they more than likely be in jail? Uh, they would be arrested uh, for perjury. And how it's long? punishable. It's punishable up to 10 years. About all. Well. 